I want to ask my brother, my vice president, William Ruto, to be cautious and do the right thing. Let's keep our house together. Let us not be destructive. And let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal. President William Ruto is the greatest beneficiary of the peoples of Mount Kenya distant for betrayal. Our people hate betrayal. And they are very unforgiving if you betray them. I ask my brother, President William Ruto, not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving. When there was an attempt to betray him, the people of this region said, no, we don't like betrayal. We don't entertain betrayal. And for that reason, the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal. If the people of this region feel betrayed, as they will, if we go into that direction, these people will be very unforgiving. That's just my advice. It doesn't have to be taken. I've been around for a long time. Mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Moi, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Kebake, nimekuwa hapo wakati ya Uhuru. Sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu. Hii watu ya Mlima Kenya mimi nawaelewa sana. Kisaliti hii watu uhusiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho. And they cannot be salvaged. I still think there is room for the president to put his house in order talk to everybody and let us get back to work and serve the people of Kenya, execute the mandate that they gave us. We give very many promises. We need to keep those promises. And it's important that we keep those promises. The other day I asked the president to keep one promise to the people of Kenya that requires no funding, requires no IMF, requires no World Bank. He promised the people of Kenya that under his watch, his deputy will never be humiliated. Didn't he promise? We're asking him to keep that promise. If he can't keep that one promise, nobody can trust him to keep any other promise. So it's up to him. It's up to him. Sisi tuko pale, sisi ni watu wa mungu. And for me, I'm comforted by the fact that when things were very difficult for President William Ruto and he was had a lot of attack, a lot of schemes, a lot of intimidation, a lot of humiliation, a lot of harassment, Mungu alisimama na ee. Huyo huyo Mungu alisimama na Rais William Ruto. Hakuna bahali ya meenda. Si yako tu. That is my comfort. He's still there. So let us see how things unfold.